Life as We Know It with Tom Walton. The nation is more polarized than it's been in quite some time. Inflation numbers are bowling shoe ugly. We rejoice when the price of gasoline drops from outrageous to merely exorbitant. The planet is heating up, polar ice is melting, and the coronavirus keeps finding ways to reinvent itself. Russia, just stop it before you toast us all. On the other hand, you and I will be dead for a really long time, at least in this earthly realm. So we all need to lighten up and accept that while life has changed, somehow it goes on. Hard as it may be to imagine, the country's been a mess before. World wars, droughts, the Great Depression, McCarthyism, the Cuban Missile Crisis, Vietnam. Tough to see the glass half full sometimes. Still, we try. It's a tactic President Kennedy knew well. Asked at a press conference about a resolution passed by congressional Republicans that was harshly critical of the president, Mr. Kennedy responded, Well, I'm sure it passed unanimously. Humor is all around you. Maybe you'll find useful some of what follows the next time you get depressed about hurricanes in the South, fires in the West, floods in the Northeast, and the threat of a nuclear accident in Ukraine. For example, an attorney informs his client that he has some good news and bad news. What's the bad news, the client asks. The bad news is your blood is all over the crime scene, and the DNA test proves you did it. Well, what's the good news? Well, your cholesterol is 165. A young lawyer is working late one night when his door opens and in walks the devil. I have an offer, says Satan. If you give me your soul, I'll make you a full partner in your firm. The lawyer ponders the offer and finally asks, So what's the catch? How about the guy who went to the bank to make a deposit in his checking account and was told he needed to provide an ID? You mean he asked other people are trying to put money into my account and you're telling them no? The pandemic continues to provide its own brand of humor. Often the jokes acknowledge that most of us have put on a few pandemic pounds the last couple years. A man walks into a bakery and decides to buy half a dozen pound cakes. Will that be for here or to go, the clerk wonders. Computers seem to be a common annoyance for most of us. I especially enjoy this one. A man walks into a bar and wants to know the Wi-Fi password. First you need to buy a drink, the bartender says. Well, fine, give me a beer, the customer replies. So what's the Wi-Fi password? First, you need to buy a drink, the bartender says again. No spaces, all lowercase. Speaking of bartenders and computers, here's one that embraces both. Helvetica and Times New Roman walk into a bar. Get out of here, the bartender shouts. We don't serve your type. If you find none of this funny, I defer to your judgment and feel a measure of sympathy for space hero Neil Armstrong. After nobody laughed at his jokes about the moon, he reportedly acknowledged, quote, I guess you had to be there. Life as We Know It is written and hosted by Tom Walton and is a production of WGTE Public Media. Life as We Know It with Tom Walton can be heard on WGTE FM 91 every Monday afternoon during All Things Considered at 544 p.m. Or hear past episodes at wgte.org life. 